you are watching how to use the custom pin where 635 probably 5 the not permanent way the first thing as usual is to turn on the PSP now let's check the current version go to system settings okay system information okay and 635 official firmware now go to game memory stick select the update pro okay. Okay, now press S to apply the, the, the custom firmware. Okay, now press X again to use it. Okay, let's check the, the version. The firmware version go to system settings, system information, and you can see 635 Pro B5. Okay, let's go to memory stick. Now you can see this is the homebrew I have, and again, okay. I'm going to reboot the PSP. Now I'm going to check the version, system settings, system information, and here you are the 635 official framework. That is why it is the not permanent way.